evening, Council, I'd like to call this meeting to order, January 4th, 2016, the organizational meeting of the 2016 City Council. In Council Chambers is Council of Ward 4, Dana Ribeiro, Council of Ward 1, Jim Oliveira, Council of Ward 2, Steve Martins, Council at Large, Deborah Coelho, Council of Ward 5, Kerry Winterson, Council at Large, Ian Abreu, Council of Ward 3, Henry Gousquet, Council at Large, Naomi Carney, Council at Large, Brian Gomes, Council of Ward 6, Joe Lopes, and Council at Large, Linda Morad. At this time, I would like to ask Reverend Leona Fisher, pastor of In the Name of Jesus Christ Church, to lead us in the opening prayer. Good evening, everyone. I had a song and dance, but I have to keep it to just congratulations to all of you for your upcoming uh, swearing in. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for being with us throughout 2015. As the City Council prepares to step into the new year, anticipating hurdles to clear and ob obstacles to get through, I pray they take leaps of faith in you and rely on righteousness and integrity to be their foundation and strength. I pray that throughout 2016, they and their families prosper in good health, happiness, and love. Bless them as they bless the city of New Bedford with their gift to serve. This I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and then the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. This time I'd like to ask Counselor at Large, Brian Gomes, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councilors. Item number one on this evening's agenda is a communication from the City Clerk, Clerk of the City Council, notifying of organizational meeting of City Council to be held on Monday, January 4th, 2016 at 6 p.m. in City Council Chambers for the following purposes. One, temporary organization of the City Council and election of City Council President Pro Tem. Two, election commission reporting the election of municipal officials. Three, adjournment for swearing in of elected officials. Four, reconvene for organization of the City Council for the year of 2016. Five, election of President of the City Council for 2016. Six, for drawing for seats if applicable. Seven, appointments of Assistant City Solicitors for 2016. And number eight, appointment of Attorney David J. Garatowski as Legislative Counsel of the City Council for 2016. A motion to receive and place on file will be so in order. Moved. Second. Moved by Councilor Lopes, seconded by Councilor Martins. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I oppose the ayes have it. This time, Councilors, I'd like to, the chair will be in receipt of nominations for pro, President Pro Temp. Mr. Clerk? Yes, Councilor. If I can please nominate uh, Councilor Bousquet for Pro Temp. Motion has been made for Councilor Second. Bousquet, seconded by Councilor Coelho. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Motion, motion to, to close, reset. motion to close nominations will be in order. So Second. moved and seconded, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Take a roll call vote. For nominating Councilor Bousquet as President Pro Tem, Councilor Abreu. Yes. Yes, Councilor Bousquet. Yes. Yes, Councilor Carney. Yes. Yes, Councilor Coelho. Yes. Yes, Councilor Gomes. Yes. Councilor Lopes. Yes. Yes, Councilor Martins. Yes. Yes, Councilor Morad. Yes. Yes, Councilor Oliveira. Yes. Yes, Councilor Ribeiro. Yes. Yes, Councilor Winterson. Yes. Yes. Motion passes 10 to 0. Councilor Bousquet is elected President Pro Tem. And at this time, I would like to ask Councilors Winterson and Martins to escort him to the chair. So uh, I would be in receipt of a uh, motion to recess, but uh, just so the folks at home know, we're going to be recessing from here 
uh, for a temporary time to go down to the Zaitarian for the inauguration exercises, uh, at which time, once they've concluded, we'll return back here for organization of the City Council. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You guys have it. I'd like to call this meeting of the City Council back to order, reconvening from uh, the inaugural celebration. Good evening, everyone. The chair would be in receipt of uh, nominations for the uh, council president for the year 2016. Nominate Council Morad, Councilor Lodge. Second. Um, any other nominations? Anyone else? Seeing none, uh, we receive a motion to close the nomination process. Um, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to do a roll call vote on the election of the City Council President for 2016. Uh, it's Councilor Morad who has been uh, nominated. Councilor Abreu. Yes. Yes. Councilor Bousquet. Yes. Yes. Councilor Carney. Yes. Yes. Councilor Coelho. Yes. Yes. Councilor Gomes. Yes. Yes. Councilor Lopes. Yes. Yes. Councilor Martins. Yes. Yes. Councilor Morad. Yes. Yes. Councilor Oliveira. Yes. Yes. Councilor Ribeiro. Yes. Yes. Councilor Winterson. Yes. Yes. Mr. President passes 11 to 0. Uh, motion passes 11 to 0. Thank you very much, everybody, and congratulations, Councilor Morad. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to ask the good counselor for Ward 6, Councilor Lopes, and the counselor for Ward 2, Councilor Martins, to please escort Councilor Morad to the chair. Please be seated. If you give me just a few minutes, I'd like to uh, address the body. And uh, I know we have a little bit of business to do tonight, and then I know we all want to be at the festivities at the Whaling Museum. I'd like to begin my comments by thanking my colleagues for your support tonight. I very much appreciate it. I promise you I will not disappoint you. Uh, we will work together as a group to move the agenda of this city forward. I also want to thank Councillor David Alves, who's not in the chamber tonight, but was with us at the inauguration for his many years of service. Um, David leaves the body and has done a great job and leaves his legacy here. Um, and I know he will be close to us as we move forward in the following year. I'd also like to thank Councillor Brian Gomes for his leadership last year as the council president. Um, uh, Council Gomes and I will work together. He will be the first vice president of the body, and we will work together to move the city's agenda forward and to make the council an effective body in the year 2016. I welcome Councillor Abreu. Uh, Ian, you have worked hard to attain this seat. Welcome to the council family. Um, you will have a long and distinguished career in city government, and we look forward as a body to working with you. 
And to my colleagues on the council, I want to congratulate you on your re-election to the city council. I know how much you love this city. I know how hard you work. Uh, congratulations to each one of you, and I look forward to working with you in the following year. I would like to have the body um, work together. I know from time to time we will not agree with each other, but I hope we will listen to each other and that we will work together to promote the city's agenda. This body is a distinguished body. It is respected throughout the city. We are leaders elected by the residents of the city of New Bedford. Think about it. There are 11 of us in a city of 100,000. We were chosen to lead, and that's what we should do together. I know how honored you are to serve. I know how hard you work. And I look forward, as we move forward together, to see us represent the city as a body whenever we can and to work together to make the city a better place. Each of us has different strengths. And I hope to use those strengths, either professionally or your life experience um, uh, uh, strengths, as we make committee assignments here in the city of New Bedford for the following year. I will carefully consider those assignments, and I hope that each one of you, when you come to your assignment, will work diligently to be sure that whatever committee you have been assigned to, you will work as hard as you can to make sure that that committee is effective as it can be. I will announce committee assignments sooner than usual in the month of January, not because I anticipate that we will begin the business of the council earlier, but to give those chairmen the opportunity to work with their co-chairs to review the items that are currently pending in our committee councils and decide which of those items we want to move forward and which ones we don't want to take further action. I'm going to consider a couple of new committees as well. One of the most important roles of the city council, as you know, is a financial role. Several of you have spoken to me over the last several months about the budget process and how it really doesn't work in the city of New Bedford. I'll look forward to your ideas and to work with the administration to figure out how we can make the budget process in the city of New Bedford more effective with the administration, with the department heads, and with us as a body. And I'll look forward to all your input regarding those changes. I would look for us to have a positive and expanded working relationship with other elected officials and with department heads in the city of New Bedford. Um, many of you began the process of working together with elected officials in the school committee. I hope to continue and to build on that relationship. I'd also like to see us partner more with our state delegation. They need to know what our agendas are in the city council so that they can help promote those on the state level. And I will look forward to us working to do that together as a group. I also want the council to have more of a say in the direction of the city. I don't want us always to be in a reactionary mode, and I'm sure many of you feel that way as well. I look to expand the role of the city council. I've said that a couple times today, invisibilities, invisibility in the city. Um, I'd like to see us more represented in community projects and at special events. And I would like to promote some of your agendas in the year 2016. And to that end, I ask each of you over the next couple of weeks to think about what it is you would like to accomplish for the City Council. I will chat with each of you and see if we can select two or three projects that we as a body can promote and accomplish in the following year. Um, I want to thank our great team that works with us on a regular basis um, in Dennis, David and Dennis, we have wealth of experience. All three of them have served in this body and have been in the city council for a long time. And I look forward to working with them in 2016. And to the ladies in our office who support us every day, who work hard to make us look good without a lot of fanfare and often without a lot of thanks. Um, Sue and Donna Ray, Sandra, and our newest addition, Anna, uh, thank you for your work and we look forward to working with you as well. I also want to thank my family, all who are here tonight in the council chamber for your love and support. I have often said I can't do this job without you, and the last couple of years have been difficult years, and I've appreciated your standing next to me and sometimes in front of me as well. And I would like to also thank all of your families, many of who are here present in the chamber tonight. It's been my pleasure to know many of them on a first name basis and to see you interact with them. Uh, we all know, because we do the job, how much they sacrifice for us to be able to do this. Um, I thank you for doing that, and I look forward to our continued uh, friendships in the following year. 
And so I close, I want to once again congratulate each one of you on being reelected, Ian, being elected to the City Council, and thank you for your support and the work that you will do in the following year. I know your dedication to this job, and I know how much you love this city. I look forward to working together with all of you, and I'm grateful for your support tonight and your support in the following year. I sincerely hope that all of you will join me in working together to make New Bedford a better place where our families live and where we play. And I thank, again, all of you for your support, my colleagues tonight, my friends tonight on the New Bedford City Council. God bless you all, and God bless the city of New Bedford. Thank you. Before we give, begin the business of the uh, night, I also would like to acknowledge in the chamber tonight former Ward 5 City Councilor, Councilor Jane Gonzalez. As we do at the beginning of each term, um, especially when we have an open seat, and we do have an open seat, I would like to begin the process of drawing of seats. As you know, colleagues, um, Councilor David Alves has left us. David's seat, Councillor Alves' seat is now vacant. Is there anyone in the body who wishes to move to Councillor Alves' seat? Uh, Mr. President Morad, I would like to move to Councillor Alves' seat. Thank you, Councillor Bousquet. Is there anyone else who has interest in moving to Councillor Alves' former seat? Seeing none, Councillor Bousquet, will you kindly take Councillor Alves' seat? Thank you. Is there anyone else in the chamber who at this time wishes to move their seat for the year 2016? Seeing none, Councillor Abreu, will you please take Councillor Bousquet's former seat? <laughs> Thank you. Unless there's further discussion, the seat selection is completed. Councilors, we have a communication. I'll have the clerk read, please. Item number two on your agenda. Madam President, item two is communication. Election Commission reporting the election of municipal officials for 2016. Motion received, place on file. Second. Made by Councilor Bousquet, second by Councilor Martins. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Item three is before us. Madam President, item three is communication. Mayor Mitchell submitting the reappointment of Attorney John A. Markey, Jr., New Bedford, Mass. 02740 as assistant city solicitor for a one-year term expiring December 31st, 2016. Motion to waive screen. Motion to waive Rule 38. Second. Is made by Councillor Winterson, second by Councillor Lopes. And um, I would also like a motion to waive Rule 40 as well. So moved. Rule 40. Moved by Councillor Oliveira, second, second by Councillor Bousquet. Is there any discussion on the item? On the appointment, reappointment of Attorney John R. Markey. I'm sorry, John A. Markey, Jr., uh, roll call vote. Councilor Abreu. Yes. Yes, Councilor Bousquet. Yes. Yes, Councilor Carney. Yes. Yes, Councilor Coelho. Yes. Yes, Councilor Gomes. Yes. Yes, Councilor Lopes. Yes. Yes, Councilor Martins. Yes. Yes, Councilor Morad. Yes. Yes, Councilor Oliveira. Yes. Yes, Councilor Ribeiro. Yes. Yes, Councilor Winterson. Yes. Yes. Item passes 11 to 0. Um, next, we'll have the uh, clerk swear them in all together, if that's okay with the body. Item number four is in front of us, please. Item four is communication. Mayor Mitchell submitting the reappointment of attorney Eric Jakes in Bedford, Mass. 02740 as the assistant city solicitor for a one-year term expiring December 31st, 2016. Motion to waive Rule 38. Grant the appointment, waive Rule 38 and Rule 40 at the same time. Second. Ma made by Council Lopes, second by Council Bousquet. Is there any discussion on the item? Seeing no discussion, the reappointment of Attorney Jakes. Roll call vote. Councilor Abreu. Yes. Yes, Councilor Bousquet. Yes. Yes, Councilor Carney. Yes. Yes, Councilor Coelho. Yes. Yes, Councilor Gomes. Yes. Yes, Councilor Lopes. Yes. Yes, Councilor Martins. Yes. Yes, Councilor Morad. Yes. Yes, Councilor Oliveira. Yes. Yes, Councilor Ribeiro. Yes. Yes, Councilor Winterson. Yes. Yes. Passes 11 to nothing. Item number five is in front of us. 
Madam President, item five is a communication Mayor Mitchell submitting the reappointment of Attorney Craig Espinola, New Bedford, Mass. 274 Row, as, as Assistant City Solicitor for a one-year term expiring December 31st, 2016. Motion to waive Rule 38. Motion to waive Rule 38, Rule 40. Seven. Made by Councilor Bousquet, second by Councilor Winterson. Is there any discussion on the item? Your reappointment of Attorney uh, Craig Espindola. Roll call vote. <coughs> Councilor Avery. Yes. Yes. Councilor Busquet. Yes. Yes. Councilor Carney. Yes. Yes. Councilor Coelho. Yes. Yes. Councilor Gomes. Yes. Yes. Councilor Lopes. Yes. Yes. Councilor Martins. Yes. Yes. Councilor Morad. Yes. Yes. Councilor Oliveira. Yes. Yes. Councilor Ribeiro. Yes. Yes. Councilor Winterson. Yes. Yes. Passes 11 to nothing. Item number six is in front of us. Madam President, item six is a written motion, Councilor Gomes, submitting to the full City Council the reappointment of Attorney David J. Garatowski, New Bedford, Mass. 02745, as Legislative Council to the City Council for a one-year term, expiring December 31st of 2016. Motion to waive Rule 38, made by Council Bousquet. Second. Second by Council Coelho. Is there also a motion to waive Rule 40? So moved. Made second. by Council Oliveira. Second by Council Carney. Any discussion on the issue? Roll call vote. Councilor Abreu. Yes. Yes. Councilor Bousquet. Yes. Yes. Councilor Carney. Yes. Yes. Councilor Coelho. Yes. Yes. Councilor Gomes. Yes. Yes. Councilor Lopes. Yes. Yes. Councilor Martins. Yes. Yes. Councilor Morad. Yes. Yes. Councilor Oliveira. Yes. Yes. Councilor Ribeiro. Yes. Yes. Councilor Winterson. Yes. Yes. Passes 11 to nothing. We have the clerk please now swear in the uh, attorneys. Yes, we'll do the solicitors first, and then we'll do Council Garatowski. Gentlemen, welcome. I state your full name. I, John Markey. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear that I will faithfully perform the duties of Assistant City Sol Solicitor. That I will faithfully perform the duties of Assistant City Solicitor. To the best of my abilities and understanding. To the best of my abilities and understanding. In accordance with the Constitution of the United States. In accordance with the Constitution of the United States. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And ordinances of the City of New Bedford. And the ordinances of the City of New Bedford. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. I, David Gurotowski, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear <laughs> that, I will perform the duties that I will faithfully perform the duties of legal counsel to the City Council of, of, legal counsel to the City council of New Bedford to the, best of my abilities and understanding, to the best of my abilities and understanding in accordance with the Constitution of the United States, in accordance with the Constitution of the United States, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the ordinances of the City of New Bedford, and the ordinances of the City of New Bedford, so, so help me God. Thank you. Thank you, Clerk Farias. Seeing no further business in front of us, uh, the body tonight, Move motion to adjourn. to adjourn. Made Second. by Council Oliveira, seconded by Council Carney. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The opposed? The ayes have it. Um, hope you will all join us at the Whaling Museum for the festivities of the inauguration. Thank you, everyone, for coming tonight.